everyone welcome back to another art lesson with Mackie today we're gonna use some uh, circles if you need them a sharpie pencil to get started and then a tool of your um, choice to uh, color with so I have got a piece of watercolor paper here it is a little bit thicker and I am going to use two circles one circle I am going to make for my um, snow globe and one for my hedgehog so getting started this is where i'm going to go so i'm going to take and i'm going to put my finger in the middle and i'm just going to kind of go around i don't need really the back side of my part because my hedgehog kind of has hair that kind of swoops up and goes back from here or my porcupine, it could be a porcupine or a hedgehog kind of looking creature. And then I'm going to start by uh, putting in different features like eyes. So my first eye. This side's gonna be a little more off. So it's not gonna be as uh, centered because it's a little more looking that way. And I'll put some like features and just some like eyebrow eye features. And starting right about here, this nose is going to come out. And then this part will get erased. So this is part of why I'm getting those features nice and long and getting them. So now I have roughed in my nose feature. I could have some little hairs that are going to end eventually come out. I can put more of those kind of things and some just little spots. I could draw in some lips and if I want some kind of cheek. So kind of roughed in. And then I will have arm coming out and this is where my snow globe is going to be. So snow globe, definitely going to have that round shape and my arms super long, going to be super characteristic. At least get roughed in the arms a little bit there. Uh, for legs, I'm going to have some little legs coming down. Like coming down over here. And then I'm going to put in some kind of cute boots. So maybe I'm going to make them a little bigger this time. Some soles coming around. I make some oval shapes. If you can see ovals at the top here, I made some oval kind of shapes down, but um, ovals around, right? And then two lines down. And then I kind of made my boot shape. I like that line right back. And I'm going to make another line down here for the sole. Now you could add other features. Um, like if you wanted to like go right here on the top or any other details, you could add them into your hedgehog. So I start off with that circle, kind of some oval eyes. I kind of drew some straight lines, kind of make some just features on the eyes. Um, if you wanted things like eyebrows, you could do some eyebrows or eyelashes. Especially if it's a girl, it uh, makes more features. Came out with that long straight line for the nose and some curvy lines and straight lines for hair. Now, my snow globe. My snow globe, I started off with that circle that I borrowed from here. And then I can come down, and on the bottom, I can make part that comes down below. Um, you could make it more triangular shape. I'm gonna make mine a little more curved.
And then I'm gonna add some, just some lines to kind of make the round texture at the bottom. And sometimes more of the hatching marks you can do with the uh, Sharpie. Now inside my snow globe, last time I put a snowman, maybe I'll do that again. So my kind of mount to the other side, and make my snowman, make him have a base. Second part. Okay. This time I'm just gonna make my hat a little different on my snow globe. Uh, snowman, I'm gonna make it so his hat comes down. And have some stripes. So two little dots, three circles with a triangle kind of shape with a curved end for the nose. Some more dots for mouth. Bigger circles maybe for some buttons. And arms, arms are gonna be very stick-like, but Now you could have other little pieces floating around in there for snow. Or you could have other things like signs. <laughs> Lots of uh, things you could put in there for your imagination. So then I'm gonna kinda go and put in, I'm kinda standing on a hill. Anyway, I'm gonna get started for that today. And then I'm gonna trade in my pencil for my Sharpie. Now with your choice of media, you get to add the last step, which is color. Uh, so you can take some of the color pencils and if you want, uh, this is something that you could take color pencils and add to the hair or you could add to the skin. So you can go back and you can use the colored pencils. You could add some hair. You could definitely add around the outside. And you could add definitely some highlights and lowlights if you wanted before. Um, if you wanted to just do it with colored pencil, you could definitely do it with just colored pencil. Just add a variety of those light tones and dark tones or like, in little areas like the lips. You could do um, some of those things. Um, I'm gonna add the rest of my color pencil with a little of this uh, color pencil and then I'm gonna add watercolor. I'm gonna do that in time-lapse. So check out the final one. 